All right, strong salami and FMR. Ghetto D. D boy. D boy. Wow. Are we trying this again? Yes, we are. I'll do this just in case, so you can't see. Or no, we're, we're good. I think we're good. Maybe. Just in case, I'm doing this. Okay. Even though you, I don't care if they see my face. That being said, I'm not gonna jump in front of the camera here. Awesome. So, uh, this is the first time I've seen these two new wrestlers, and they are. They are. They do not look like upstanding citizens. <laughs> <laughs> what well, uh, ethnicity would you say they are? I would say they're. I say it. I still haven't changed it. Some of them are saying Lamar. They are Ukraine. No, they're not. Yes, they might be Ukraine. I believe that's uh. Carl, Carl's nobody that's Ukraine is gonna watch this. We're gonna have like no one from Mexico is gonna watch this either, man. We're gonna have like hundreds of Ukrainians watching this, and they're like, "Look how they look how silly Ameri." They don't have to talk like that, do they? They're close to Russia, though. Yeah, they? That's, they are silly much. Americans taunt us. You see that he's wearing the gold chain too. I like these guys. They're in uh, Team Thug Life, which. Kayfabe. Okay, this is one for the fan. Curtis <laughs> and Scott and Development and Network, which is all of us. Yep. I haven't decided if uh, they're going to be, you know, the Cat Mug's gang or maybe Flo Twain. You know, Cat Mug's gang. There's a lot of a lot of changes are coming up soon, I tell you right now. Deja Vu? Oh, that's reincarnation. That actually does a lot of damage. Got a two count already. That's because I am strong salami, bitch. Your salami is strong. See, that's 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 what he called the salami wrap. <laughs> he calls that he calls that the salami wrap. Even though I called the Canadian destroyer a salami wrap, a salami roll, we could call it that. But I can't because I get hyped for Canadian destroyers. Not like Don West and Mike Tanae. I gotta watch some old TNA. Oh, yeah, because this is my uh, weekly wrestling brand. Because I. As bad as TNA is, I watched the good. Well, they had some decent stuff actually this week. The Battle Royal, which didn't make too much sense. Anyway, I get hyped for Canadian Destroyer. That's the that's the that's point the, of this. That's the story. The moral of that story. Uh oh, FMR's in now. I've never seen anyone kick out of a Canadian Destroyer before. I've never seen anyone kick out of this, brother. No one's ever kicked out of a DAT. No one's ever kicked out of. <laughs> I like it when they uh. I don't remember who. I, I mentioned this last time too. Somebody had a kick out of a 3D because somebody missed a spot. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty bad because those Dudleys they got. <laughs> they get pretty mad on that shit. They remember Nash things and shit. Like he was just talking shit to them when he came back to the E. Like he wanted to go up to the Dudleys and be like, hey, like just you know say, hey, what's up? Can't wait to kick out of your finisher. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, FMR. What the gut muster. Interrogation! He knows something! You were there last night, weren't you? This gas station got robbed. I'd like to ask you some questions. You're not a suspect. I just want to ask you some questions. Man, I wasn't at that gas station at midnight. Nobody said anything about you being there at midnight. <laughs> Man. Convict him. Convict him now! We have the evidence. Okay, so I'll explain um, the reasoning behind these ghetto guys. And there's two more of them. Is okay, I fixed this. Oh, damn it! No, he got up too quick. I fixed uh, some of the AIs on some of the people. They won't go for when they go to the turnbuckle. They won't go for um, when they're on the ground. The opponent's on the ground. They won't go for a move where the opponent needs to be standing. Okay. Like I went in there and fixed it so they do it zero times when they're on the ground. But they'll do it when they're standing, and then, you know, opposite. Anyway, the reasoning behind the ghetto wrestlers, the Thug Lifes, because, well, first of all, I like saying Thug Life, and just making a team Thug Life makes it easy for me. But, um, I was having a conversation with, uh, one of the network reps, and, uh, we believed we didn't represent the, um, urban society well enough. Nice dodge. Uh, urban society. I love it. Yes, we... We felt we needed more of a fan base from there, and from more, um, you know, which is also why we have some more, we needed more, uh, Hispanic fans, too. Which is why we got, you know, a couple of luchadors, a couple more masked wrestlers, and, you know, we have some of the finest talent that we could find from there. 
Now what were you doing at midnight? Man, I tell you, I didn't hit that guy in the face with that gun. Nobody said anything about that. Fmar only knows how to play back up. There <laughs> it is. H A G E. Get right. What does it mean? It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it meant something. It's meant three different things. H A G E. Hage. I've asked you. Does that mean anything? I don't know. Not that I know. Hold on. Kage right. means something, right? What? Kage means something, right? Okay. Maybe. Maybe. There's a guy named Cage in uh, Virtual Fighter. Oh. Uh, I guess that's close enough. Yeah. I wonder if it's Cage or not Kage. Because I've been calling him Cage since I was a child. Or just Japanese play Kage. I'm, think, I'm still going to call him Cage. Works for most Americans. What? Oh, that's a good win. Right into Ron Salami's face. Salami is going to react here. He's flipping him off. Is that a spear? No, never mind. It's a gun. <laughs> it's a, it's a now I see it. Bring me my gun. She <laughs> chucked that spear. Oh god, are we gonna have the wrong team go over again? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so so far the first two matches, we we're gonna we're gonna do this on conclusion again, but I'm gonna say it right now. Wrong teams went over. <laughs> Somebody botched things. That's what happens when you do house oh, shows. I'm pretty confident the Smelly Fart team is going to go over. I thought so too. Actually, even though I'm pretty sure I said it in the beginning, I said the Lush new and improved with Barbados is going to win. Probably not, but. I knew Smelly would win that. They didn't win, though. He did. I thought, no, I thought Barbados won with the roll up. No. no. We'll check that here in a sec. I'm almost, I'm almost certain Barbados won it with a roll up. You're wrong, Sonny. Did Crunchy win it with a roll up? Yeah. Okay then. Somebody got rolled up. Yeah. That. And Crunchy won it. All right. I'm hoping he won it. Yeah, they would have just stood there while. Yeah, because see, I was just saying, you know, I, I knew all along that Smelly, Water, and Crunchy Farts was gonna go over. I've been talking about this team. I've been hyping it for hours. Love that taunt. <laughs> Way to save recovery. I'll cover both bases. You're gonna edit that out, right? <laughs> In case one, you'll edit out because the because I know how to do that. Yes, which is why we have a camera that does this. Oh, somebody's bleeding. Ghetto D. I like Ghetto D. He. Oh yeah, but I haven't finished my story. Um, the other inspiration for these wrestlers, while they don't look like them at all, like they don't look like him at all. I was really, like, I think I was watching uh, Hernandez wrestling, even though I made this on a Tuesday. See? See? <laughs> oh, that would've been bad. I was like, I was like, I should make a wrestler like Hernandez. And then I make a wrestler that looks nothing like Hernandez, other than what they all wear white beaters. <laughs> yeah. yeah! I like it when uh, Ghetto D hits the stun, his Ghetto stun. Because his voice goes with it perfectly. There you go. Cross chops, please. Damn. Just in case you can say it. <laughs> Are we just gonna go boom? 